Welcome everyone to a comprehensive guide for 2022 on how to ship stuff using Canada Post. This is a follow-up video to a video I did about a year ago where I covered every shipping service you can use with Canada Post and the best ways to get the cheapest rates when sending things and selling things online. In today's video, we're going over everything from the services that you can use within Canada to the letter mail services and the oversized letter mail services to the international services and the services that you can use to ship things within the US. Today, we're gonna to talk about all the best ways to get the best rates using Canada Post so you can save money with your business and be able to offer your customers the best shipping rate. Before we jump into today's video, I would highly recommend if you haven't already to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And with that, let's jump right into talking about how we can ship things within Canada. So one of the things I do most often is just send parcels within Canada. And there's a few ways you can go about doing that, but the most standard ways that I do it are using two services, the regular parcel or the expedited parcel. Now, depending on whether or not you have the Canada Post business card, which is something that's easy to sign up for and you don't need to be a registered business to do it, you can just go on their website website, enter your business name and get a card shipped to you, which will allow you to get discounts and also ship using their online services. Additionally, with this card, you can get discounts on expedited parcels. They actually usually will come out to the same price as regular parcels, but depending on the pricing, usually I'm shipping using one of those services. Now, if you're shipping one of these parcels locally, the difference between expedited parcel and regular parcel is usually only about a day. But if you're doing it, let's say nationally or provincially, you're probably looking at about a two to three day difference between delivery times on the expedited versus the regular parcels. Now, they both include tracking. The only major difference here is that with the expedited parcel, you're gonna get $100 coverage, whereas with the regular one, you do not. Now there are a few more options within Canada and let's say that you're selling things online in a store where you might want to give a customer an option to upgrade their shipping service to get a faster delivery time. You have the express post and then you have the priority services which are two additional services within Canada. They work basically the same as the regular parcel and the expedited parcel except they just have a little bit more to offer and they can deliver a faster delivery time to your customer. Now in the last couple years Canada Post has actually added a whole nother way which you can ship within Canada which I think is really good for beginners to know and I want to go over it here with you guys. And this is called the flat rate box. Now the one I have here is a medium one. It goes into a size like that probably could fit a pair of shoes or something like that. Now I don't use these all too often, I'll be completely honest, because the price is usually a little bit more expensive than a regular expedited parcel. Now the way these work is they're a set dimension and you can use them to ship anything anywhere within Canada. Now for beginners, this is great because you can pay one set cost, charge a customer one set cost, and as long as you know that your item fits within that box, you're good to go and you're not gonna have any unpredictable shipping charges. Now the problem that I run into is the price. The small one runs you about $18.50, the medium one runs you about $23.50, and the large one $30 which most of the time, depending on where you're going, is actually more expensive than just shipping something as you normally would with an expedited or regular parcel. However, there are certain cases where you will get a better rate using a flat rate box than with a regular parcel. Now, additionally, they all have a maximum weight of five kilograms. So again, if you're going over that weight, they're not gonna be a solution for you. However, if you're a beginner seller and you just want an easy rate, you can charge everybody and your item will fit into that box and that's gonna be a great solution. And additionally, it might be something worth checking if you're maybe paying way too much on a regular or expedited parcel and you think you can get your item in one of those and get a better rate. Now let's move on to my favorite shipping method within Canada for shipping small goods for a really cheap price. This is by far the question I get asked the most, which is how do I do this? How do I sell things with $3, $2, $1 shipping within Canada and still be able to make money on them? Well, there's a service that Canada Post offers called Lettermail, which is a service where you would take an envelope with maybe a card in it or something like that and send it throughout Canada. Now, this service uses stamps and you would typically put a dollar stamp on this envelope and send it anywhere within Canada for a flat rate. Now, the cool thing about this service is that Canada Post has basically a counterpart or an additional sort of level up from this service, which is called the oversized or non-standard Lettermail. And the way this works is that it's just a little bit bigger and we'll get into the size here in a second but it will allow you to fit certain items in for that flat rate fee for basically what could be as cheap as $1.80 or $1.90 all the way up to like five, six, ten dollars depending on what you're sending. Now some people ask can you ship any items in these and the answer is simply if it fits it will go. They actually have a section on their website that I'm looking at right here which says you can't send the following items via standard letter mail which is a little paper letter mail so that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about oversized or non-standard which is specifically what it says here and they list off a bunch of examples of things you could send using the service like bottle caps, loose coins, jewelry, keys, liquids, pencils, pens, seeds, anything like that. So they do obviously allow you to ship things that are not just paper in this service. Okay, so the sizing, weight, and pricing of these are actually much more simple than it may seem. 
The way that it goes basically is that you can have a bubble envelope like this. This is for example an envelope that I would use shipping DVDs or video games or some other items that would fit in this. And the key to the oversized letter mail is called the slot which is the thickness of the parcel and in this case the thickest you can go with non-standard or oversized is 0.8 inches and I believe that's 20 millimeters. Now for anybody wondering a video game plus a bubble wrap on it basically gets you to that 0.8 inches. Now the maximum length and width for one of these parcels is 14.9 inches by 10.6 inches or 380 by 270 millimeters. This here is a 9 by 7 inch, so this is well within size. You could probably double it up and get a whole nother game in there and still be able to fit through the slot as long as you're not going over that allowed 0.8 inches thick. So they all work with that size. Now the pricing comes down to what the item weighs inside. For example, under 100 grams, you're only paying $1.94 for this item, and then over 100 but under 200, paying $3.19. Over 200 and under 300, you're $4.44. Over 300, under 400, you're 509 And over 400 but under 500, which is the limit, 500 grams is the limit as to how much you can put in this in terms of weight, is gonna cost you $5.47. Now, most of the time for video games and DVDs, I'm under 200 grams. So I'm either paying between the one to 200 for 319 or I'm paying under 100 for $1.94. Now that's within Canada and that's essentially how this works. But one thing that people always ask me and I get trouble for all the time is can you use this via the international system? Because they have this exact same non-standard oversized system for international parcels. But here's the reality guys. You actually aren't allowed technically by Canada Post to send an item in this internationally because it needs a custom swarm and to be declared and letters don't have that. So yes, they offer a service for I think it's $10 or whatever for this kind of parcel with a video game in it to go to the States or to go somewhere internationally. But the reality is you're not technically supposed to send things using that service. Now, could you and get away with it potentially, but I don't think it's worth the risk. And most of the time we'll get into another service here that's actually cheaper than that for shipping things internationally. So that's letter mail. And let's move on now to shipping things within the US via regular parcels. There are three main services that I use when I ship to the US. That would be the small packet USA service. That would also be the track packet service. And then that would be the expedited parcel within the US. Now, small packet is actually one of my favorite services to use when sending international orders, whether it be to the US, which is specifically the small packet USA air, or whether sending it internationally via small packet air or ground. Now for the US service, it's everything under one kilogram. So in a box, you can send it via small packet air USA for anything that weighs under one kilogram. That might be something in a box like this, where you just simply slide in, as long as it's under that weight, you can then purchase a label for a small packet air shipping. Now this service is cheap, however, it doesn't offer tracking. So that's one of the major things that people don't like about this service. But if you wanna save some money and it's just a cheap item that you're sending to the States, this is definitely the way to do it. Next up, Track Packet USA, which is essentially replicating that small packet, but does give you the tracking. This package has the same weight restrictions as the small packet. However, it offers tracking and I think $100 coverage to the state. So it's sort of a little bit of a price jump up, just a little bit more for the tracking and that coverage. But you do get those additional options when you go for it. Now, the last one that I use is the Expedite Parcel, which is the one that I use for anything that's over that one kilogram weight. And this is just a standard parcel. It has tracking included, and I believe it has coverage as well that you can just send anything as you would in Canada via an expedited parcel you can do to the states so it's a very simple service and I use it it costs a little bit more again depending on the state that it's going to but it is a good service I use all the time as well now they also offer Express Post USA and the priority service however I have never really used those to the states unless the customer specifically asked for it as they're just more expensive versions that offer a faster delivery time let's talk about international now guys this is anything that's not going to the US or Canada the number one international service I like to use for any countries that offer it is the small packet international service which is a really cheap way to get things out internationally now, now, remember when I said there was a cheaper alternative to the letter mail internationally and the letter mail internationally also isn't allowed so you're not going to use that you're going to use small packet ground It's the cheapest service now it does take quite a bit of time for delivery but you can upgrade for a few dollars to the air service for I think like a two-week delivery time um, but for the ground it's like I think two to four months or something ridiculous depending on where it's going within the globe However, this is gonna be the cheapest service internationally. There's been a lot of times when I've been able to get parcels or video games out for eight or nine dollars, which is definitely cheaper than the letter mail rates. Now, the cool thing and one of my favorite things about the small packets going internationally is the weight limit. They actually raise it to two kilograms for all your international parcels. So this is a really cool thing. It allows you to ship a lot more items internationally for really cheap. Now, like I said, again, they have the air and ground options. The difference is usually a few dollars, but the time difference is huge. So most of the time, if I can, I'm shipping via the small packet 
air uh, as then it will get to the customers much quicker but if your customers are okay for a few dollar savings for a longer delivery time you can definitely use the ground option as well okay next up we have the track packet international basically the same as the track packet usa it's a small packet but it offers tracking and coverage for an additional cost and then the next step up from that you get the international parcel which is basically the equivalent of an expedited parcel within canada or a regular parcel you're just sending a good old box it's over two kilograms anywhere around the world and they're charged based on the destination that it's going to now here's the unfortunate thing about the international parcel is that it doesn't offer tracking which means for less money if you had an item that just weighed two kilograms you can send it as a track packet and get that tracking option but unfortunately you're not going to get the tracking for the international parcel so you might have to step it up to the express post or to the priority worldwide which usually costs crazy amounts of money to just be able to get that tracking number. So I think that's the one major flaw within the Canada Post International system is that there's no real sort of middle ground between you know over two kilograms and the maximum that allows you to track for a reasonable amount of money. Anyway, they also offer an air service and a ground service for the international parcel. The ground service, I think is actually says here four to 12 weeks and then 12 plus days for the air service. So those are sort of different delivery times again though, Without the tracking, it's sort of an unfortunate service. Anyway, guys, that's an overview of the international side of things. And that actually concludes our look at every service, basically, that Canada Post offers if you're looking to send a parcel. Now, if you want to get really familiar with these and really be able to respond to customers quickly and know what services are and know what everything costs, the trick would be to go on their website, go to their find a rate section, just start entering different postal codes around the country with different box dimensions of things you're selling. And you can start to compare rates and see what sort of deals Canada Post can offer going to different areas and really familiarize yourself with that so you can let your customers Customers know and also become knowledgeable for yourself as to what things cost when shipping in Canada. Additionally, you may want to watch this video again, maybe take a couple of notes and really get to know for yourself all the different offerings that Canada Post has to offer. Anyway, I hope that you guys found this video valuable. I've been looking forward to making this for a little bit of time now. Again, we had a first couple episodes that did very well, so I'm hoping that this sort of 2022 updated version will also help a lot of you guys out. With that, again, I'll ask if you enjoyed the video, if you could go down below and smash the like button, I would really appreciate it. Any comments, questions that you have down below, please let me know. I'll try to get back to you guys. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you guys all in the next video.